Hello and welcome to my channel. I am The Ranting Nusher, and rather than review entertainment media, I decided to take this video in a more unusual direction. In keeping with the spirit of Halloween, I'm going to relay some really creepy things that have happened to me over the years. Before getting started, I want to give a shout out to Emma, the vlog lady, one of my favorite YouTubers of all time, who has inspired this video. Emma reviews the works of David Lynch, along with original series that are currently available to stream on Netflix. If you are interested in checking out her material, I highly recommend it. Her reviews are very well thought out, and she's a lot of fun to watch. A link to her channel will be included in the description down below. Emma, if you are watching, thank you so very much for inspiring this video. With that being said, the first experience I want to share with you was when I got lost in the woods. I know, I know. Who hasn't gotten lost in the woods, right? But when you're a little kid, it can be really terrifying. I was four, or maybe five. My grandmother rented a cabin in Cayuga State Park in upstate New York. Me being the curious, adventuresome kid that I was, I decided to go exploring somewhere beneath the bridge. It was around dusk when I realized I couldn't find my way back. I was lost. Fear and my own imaginative senses were heightened to the extent that I envisioned the trees around me and even some of the bushes taking on other shapes, other forms. They resembled creatures, the kind that could potentially grab and even devour me. Some years later, I was maybe six or seven. My mother told me about some people who lived down the road from us in Conklin, New York. They were presumed to be Nazi war criminals. One fine summer day, according to my mother, they burst out of their house screaming at the top of their lungs, kill the Jews, kill the Jews, kill the Jews. So I was very creeped out by this, and very unnerved, to say the least. Especially seeing as how I had trick-or-treated at their house the previous Halloween. I have moved many times in my life, and I have this thing where, when I'm sleeping in the place I moved into, I dream that I'm still living in the place I moved out of. Has this ever happened to you? One instance in particular where this happened was when I was in college and living with a female roommate. I eventually got a place of my own, but when that happened, I dreamt that I was still living at her place. And even though I didn't see her exactly, I remember in the dream having an intuitive sense that she wasn't the way I remember her. That she had an abstract version of herself a doppelganger, if you will. And I had to wake myself up before she found and strangled me. Another experience I want to share with you is during the wake of my late grandmother, this came after my college days, my family and I carried a portable slot machine that we would use to honor her. One of my grandmother's favorite things in the world to do is go to the casino. We kept trying to get the slot machine to go off. It didn't. At least not during the wake. It was only when we were leaving and heading down the stairs that led out into the parking lot that the slot machine finally went off and all the coins fell out. I guess sometimes the barriers between the living and the dead aren't quite as thick as you may think. The last experience I will share with you has to do with my cat. An adorable tortoiseshell Hemingway named Ashley, who unfortunately passed away due to kidney failure. 
About a month or so after Ashley was euthanized, I awoke to hear scratching noises on the sliding glass door that leads out onto my porch. The kind of scratching noises only a cat would make. I knew it was Ashley. She wanted to come in and jump into bed with me. It's very rare when an experience like this is both creepy and endearing at the same time. Well, that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. I am The Ranting Usher. I hope you've enjoyed these experiences. I've certainly enjoyed talking about them. And if you would like to support the channel, click the thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, Turn notifications on. Let me know some of your creepy experiences in the comments down below, and I'll see you next time.